going on? It's your boy Blizz Ricks back on another Destiny 2 gameplay commentary. You know, I got to give it to uh, the folks over there at Bungie, man. They've definitely got me enjoying the game a lot. It's crazy. I I, yo, honestly, I didn't think that I would enjoy Destiny as much as I did. Despite the fact that we're like replaying strikes over and over again or doing same crucible or same things. I enjoy doing the strikes. That's just me. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like doing the strikes because it doesn't give them anything. And understandable. I made a video about that. But um yo, the weapons in this game. That's for the, that's what I really want to get into. Now, we have pretty interesting weapons, I guess. I mean, the sad part is everybody goes for the same um, things on perks. Um, the same weapon perks, pretty much. Outlaw, kill clip. Those are the main things. You know what I'm saying? Now, apparently, the new guns don't roll with those two anymore. Like, you can't get an outlaw kill clip for any of the newer weapons. And to be honest, I think that's, I think that's okay. Because after I got my... I got a couple of outlaw kill clip post rifles. I just kept getting them. You know, it's, it's like the game said, oh, you like God rolls? <laughs> Here's some more. The thing is, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's, I'm at a conflict here. Do I want weapon retirement? Not really, but I can understand it being there because. When you have the same weapons since the beginning, you know what I'm saying? All the way up until, what, the uh, the end of season for Destiny 2. It's, it's kind of sad. You know what I'm saying? But I think there needs to be some kind of change. What kind of change does it need to be? I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean... We can say this. We like the guns that we have, but we also want new things. And um, YouTuber, streamer Datto had brought up a video. He brought up a point where it was actually a really good point. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate that this is a good point. But he said things like the community doesn't really want interesting perks. They just want powerful perks. And you know what? Uh, yeah. Sad to say it, but yeah. We want powerful perks. We want those guns that are able, we could feel the power in them. We want, like, you know, Outlaw and Kill Clip, you can feel that you're reloading faster and you're just melting things. The problem with it is we're so used to it and we're spoiled that we develop a play style that's pretty much boring. I mean, for the most part, you know what our perks are going to be. I mean, you don't even have to look at anybody's loadout you can pretty much say oh yeah if it's a pulse rifle it has outlaw kill clip you know another gun has a, a it has rampage on it another gun has kill clip or outlaw i mean those perks are always going to be a thing you know you might sniper has dragonfly on it or demolitionist any something you know firmly planted there are just plenty of things out there that you just know yeah, this is what we go for. I think that God roll weapons should maybe be. Oh, no, I think that God roll weapons should have been something that were harder to get. You know, like these guns. Are... Certain roll combinations should just have a very low drop rate. And if you have them, you have them. But who knows, man, maybe that wouldn't have worked. Something to make these weapons special again i mean i guess you could make the raid weapons doper by giving them exclusive perks you know since th since the raids are pve oriented you can give us pve perks now i mean certain you know i mean it's it's hard to say because i don't want to say i don't want to make this something that's ridiculous it just sounds idiotic. It's like, no, they can't do that because of this, that. But it's like, I don't know. These are just ideas. You know, maybe we have guns that do 
you know, at a certain rate, all the guns do, like, increase damage against certain enemies, you know, increased falling, you know, increased falling damage, increased hive damage, increased taken, cabal, vex, or killing vex enemies, and it drops, like, materials, something, you know what I'm saying? Something to make it interesting. But I guess the damage thing would be interesting, would be good. And that way you can actually use those guns in that setting. I think PvP, how they're set up with their weapons, I don't think much has to change. Other than no perks. Other than how the perks are, I don't I don't think anything has to do. I just think perks need to be rearranged for upcoming weapons. We don't need to, you know, it's something to actually give us the opportunity to, you know, wait, wait, you know what? I think something like that they should keep in mind, like how they're doing it right now with um, seasonal perks and mods. They should be taking notes for all this stuff and keeping the ideas fresh for Destiny 3, you know, but I think that's when they should actually get more creative with their perks. It's kind of hard to do that for a loot shooter for the simple fact that we want the best of the best. But I mean, that's just what Destiny has been. As far as I've been seeing. Like, you know, we want the best of the best. What they should do, and this hurts me to say it, but every exotic that we've had, every exotic from Destiny 2 all the way to Destiny 1, None of these exotics should be in Destiny 3. Uh, is anybody objecting to that? I think they should just be making new exotics. Matter of fact, I think they should be taking the time and just... We shouldn't have any guns from Destiny 1. We From Destiny 1 or Destiny 2. None of these weapons should be in Destiny 3. If Destiny 3 is a thing. You know, we don't know if Destiny 3 is a thing right now because Destiny 2 is still alive and kicking, you know, with their seasonal content that they're pushing out. I don't see them making Destiny 3 anytime soon, and I'm okay with that. You know, I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. And I'm going to talk about expansions in uh, the next video. That's just what's going to be the next video about. It's going to be talking about what expansions should be and how that should be handled or more ideas or new bosses or anything you know but as far as weapons go i mean yeah people people want the galahorn to come back we don't need anything else to come back in destiny 2 to be honest i mean we got the fourth horseman that came back i didn't care about it in destiny 1 and i don't care about it now to be honest i'm just doing the quest just for the sake of doing the quests you know it's, I, I'm pretty much just a collector at this point. I, I'm never going to use that gun. I don't even use shotguns, to be honest. The, the only shotgun I used was the Perfect Paradox. I've used it a couple of times. I'm not a shotgun user. <laughs> you know, I don't like shotguns. You know, I have to get too close. I, I like shooting at a distance. That's just me. But yeah, you guys, how do you think guns should be handled? How do you think the weapons should be handled in Destiny 2, Destiny 3 moving forward? I want to know, do the perks need to be changed? Do the weapon types need to be changed? So what about weapons needs to be changed? I don't care about what's been said. I just want to know what you guys think. You know, that's really all that's important. I just want to know what you guys think and what ideas you have for weapons. All right, that's the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitch. I'm Blizzrix and I'm out. Peace.